Hey guys, it's going to be a nice, quick and easy one today. Um, I spent a lot of time, I spent most of my time putting in more fighter animations, so I'm going to start with the default party here. Oh, I wanted to turn collision off, well, I'll do that for the next run. And uh, here we go, you can see that all of the classes have a corresponding dude, they've all got animations. Uh, you can leap, you can attack. He'll just wail at him till he dies. Finally kill them all with a breath. Woohoo! Yeah, so the only concern I really have when implementing the other uh, sprite dudes is that they're about the same height because you can see I don't have too much breathing room between each of the fighters and that their hands, for the most part, in each animation they go to the same spot because with the sword swinging yeah the sword attack animation that they're doing actually draws on top of them when they do it so you can see it's simply two frames right here the good part of the blade is generally obscured by the head or the helmet of the guy so that draws behind and then this in front one I don't remember if this draws in front or behind but yeah it's just that and that also syncs up with this slash right here. So the first one's just blank, and then when the sword comes down, it briefly draws that. Ooh, there's some leftover pixelation right here I don't want. But yeah, nice and easy, nothing fancy. But then that means that when I get the other weapons going, other slash weapons like the axe and stuff, uh, I can quite easily just base them off these two. I imagine something like a bow probably needs extra animation but we'll see yeah so that's them and they've all their free victory dance works properly now they're going to dance until i cancel out great so what i'll do is i will close because i need to remember to stop drawing the debug boxes here and then the second thing i'm going to show is just some overworld work and some dungeon work that i've done so I'm going to start this file, which is in world 1, which is a new world that I'm working on, one that's more close to what I intend the player to actually play through in an actual game. You can see I've added these paths, kind of help guide you a bit because this world is quite a bit bigger than the other ones we've had. See I've got like a little town thing going. Just been using this colourful little cave as like a marker for where the transport tile will actually go, just for testing. More stuff down and all around here but I want to go up towards here we've got some mountain ranges not happy with these though I want to it'll probably end up being something more like the forest but I want to maybe draw some bigger spikes yeah not not sure yet but anyway I've got this transport and we go into a map that I've made using the cliff tiles I made way back in like episode 14 or something I don't remember when but yeah, the entry here is a bit strange. You can see it's like an, a wall that's not functioning properly. And that's because one of the next things I'm going to work on is... So far, transitioning between maps happens with one of the transport tiles that I put on a square. But I also want rules that if you go outside the bounds of the map... Yeah, so the actual raw input file here, you can see this is basically where we are. And it's against like the edges of the the map what I want to do is have control so that if you take that step off the map that it acts kind of like a transport tile as well so that if I do have these maps of the yeah because this is like a cliffy map uh, it wouldn't make sense to enter from one single point it would be great if I could have like a more natural transition maybe there's some grassy areas down here until it fully commits into the cliff styling but you'll see as I walk up here the way I've engineered this map is I've actually paired it with this map and you actually bounce between these corridors as you progress so we'll see that in action right here I'm going to start climbing up these things all have collision I've turned the encounters off of course but then oh, I should stop the transport tiles actually drawing but as I go in you can see we're like on the interior now and uh, the rules are more closer to the prison map where all the unused tiles are this flat dark color 
but then we get it out again as we progress and then this is meant to be like the outside it still looks more kind of cavey i think i think it needs like other kind of peaks and plateaus to look more like we're outside scaling some cliffs or something maybe the maybe they need some like work on the top tiles and the the bottom tiles to look like they're more connected with the ground i don't know but it's all right for now i'm quite happy i got this interaction going and this is like a downward facing door it looks very bizarre but you can't really see it with the transport tile over it so yeah you just dip in and out i think it's pretty cool uh, that's what i've been playing around with no saying that this map is final or whatever it's also very empty here i was more concerned just getting the maps to flow together i can even turn encounters on and it'll look like we're fighting in the prison because that's another thing i want to do is start having this art at the top be variable and change depending on where you are and all of the encounters right now are just these in so i'll cut it there and i'll catch you in two days fellows thanks for watching goodbye